Hey, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm uh, Renny van der Drift. Uh, as you can hear in my accent, I'm pure Dutch. Um, so as Timeless, we build timeless systems. That's our vision, that we think an organization should invest in applications that you can m maintain a very long time. Um, and you, our platform supports it during the whole life cycle of that application. Uh, just a quick note, we were finalists for the Nokia Innovation Challenge uh, last year for IoT, where we were fourth out of 450 companies. So this is our team, I will do it very quickly. Uh, Michael is the former CEO of Infosys Edgeverve, the development company uh, which uh, basically owns the core banking uh, application market, and he was responsible for the development of those core banking systems. Uh, myself and Wilfried Hoffman, who just in a parallel session um, uh, took the audience through uh, one of our customer cases. We are located in The Hague in the uh, WTC uh, on the HSG Security Delta. Um, we have an office in Germany, close to SAP, where Mike uh, used to work uh, in the early days. We have 22 people staff and we're growing very fast. We have several patents spending uh, on blockchain technology. So what is our core focus? Our core focus is not the brave new world apps. Our core focus is the dull old enterprise who had invest, has invested massive amounts of money into IT systems and data that is stored in that IT systems. And we as a society are not ready to get rid of those systems. We want to reuse those investments, bring them into a smart ecosystem of the blockchain, leverage the data and do something new, smart and sustainable in a new environment. And that's our vision. And that's where partially we take our strengths and, and scalability from. Because we are in the permissioned, permissioned ledger environment, we don't need to burn so many power in order to, be, uh, um, yeah, to let uh, untrusted computers and, and people participate in the network, because they're all known. So this is our sweet spot. Um, the, the, the functionalities we offer in the platform is basically transaction logging, plain old dull transaction logging. Um, you don't need to burn power for it. Um, it's, it's quick. We can theoretically do a million transactions per, or registrations per second. Um, and we embedded smart contract. On, yeah, you, I will walk you through the platform in a bit. We will, I will take you through a customer case. Uh, it's a live demo of uh, um, a case where they are actually now working on. Um, and they are leveraging this application secure document sharing. Uh, we have all the IoT integration because we leverage uh, Node Red from IBM, which we completely blockified. So you can model a smart contract rather than have to code it because that is dull and it will give you a lot of uh, uh, mistakes. Uh, and with modeling, you have quality of code and you speed up the development. So why are we different than all the others? So this is typically how you build up a whole stack. You, you heard the previous speakers uh, talking about the stack. So here's the data layer, then you have the processing layer, um, and uh, applications on top. In our platform, we basically inherit, uh, in this case, BigchainDB and the interplanetary file system. And on top of that, we build a complete platform where you can do your modeling, uh, build your applications, publish your applications, uh, make subscriptions, get money for it, all those kind of things. Uh, 
So how does it look like? So here's our runtime. You have a login server, a client, a web server. Here's the business logic, as I told you earlier. We look back. Um, uh, here's the late data layer. We will deep dive uh, later on. And this is the complete architecture of the platform. So all the key handling is done. There's nothing to worry um, as, as a developer um, uh, about the key handling. It's all provided by the platform. We built in all integrations into enterprise legacy systems so we can talk to any version of SAP, collect something out of the system, do something smart in the platform, publish it uh, or write it back. So now you're all anxious. Uh, what is what is that look like? Well, let's fire up. Um, let's fire up. Um, I will log in as a user, and with one hand typing, that is always the case. So here you see I'm now logged in as a user, not as an um, as a as an admin. We will go to that later. I have this wonderful application that I'm going to show you. Um, it's 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 a discount calculation application. So we are going to add a new line. Uh, I create this new line, so it's now in the blockchain. And as you can see, something magical happened. Uh, I will come back to that later. We, we create another line and we change the quantity. Uh, we create it and when we go down, you will see that an, um, a discount is applied. So, and apparently with this one, we ordered laptops and when it was stored, something magical happened and servers were, uh, were stored. Let's go as an admin and see what that magic application looks like and how that was created. So we're here. We're going to Node-RED in this case. And um, we are going to the discount application. So this is this is basically everything that that application did. Yeah, so this is a modeling tool on Node-RED. If you never worked with it, it's from, I, it's from originally for IBM, contributed to the open source, and we blockified it. So we added a lot of nodes uh, to integrate blockchain technology in this, uh, uh, in this tool. And here you can see, if you double click, uh, you can see, oh, this is how the discount is calculated. And you saw, when we fired up the application, that something magical happened. Uh, it was pre-populated. Well, this data could have come out of an SAP system. It doesn't matter. You know, it's just a representation. But all in all, it gives you an, an, a, a quick overview how simple it is in the platform to create uh, a blockchain application without having a clue about how blockchain works. Yeah, everything is dockerized, so in, in 25 minutes you have the complete platform up and running. So let's fire up a, a customer case. So one of our customers is uh, Grant Thornton in the UK. So this is a case where they need to uh, securely exchange documents between customers about the audit process or um, the customers are stock listed, uh, so it's sensitive data, and they want to securely transfer those documents via the blockchain, make sure that the recipient had received it, that um, the notification of the, um, that the recipient received it is recorded in the blockchain for everyone there to see, so that uh, they, they are compliant. So let me uh, log in, then you can see how this application actually looks like. Um, mm. 
as you can see, uh, I enabled in the platform uh, strong authentication uh, for this user. I have a, a YubiKey, uh, in this case, uh, attached to it, so it's something you know and something you have. And basically, this is the application, uh, and I now want to share um, a, an encrypted file. Is it? There it is. Let me. Yeah, I want to share uh, an application, a fantastic dec um, test document, basically to myself, uh, because um, I'm going to send that file. And it asks to select a smart contract. I uh, said, so, well, I want to have it expired in five minutes. And, and it's, it's, it's sent. Yeah, so I'll log out. Uh, I'll log in as the other user. Um, yeah, if all is right, I've got an email with a notification that there is a secure document for me. So I download the document, it's finished, and the recipient or the, the, the sender will get a notification um, that the file has been sent and downloaded by the recipient. Everything is recorded in the blockchain uh, for all of them to share. You can make reports on it, uh, and as you can see, it's not about the blockchain here, it's, it's just a very simple use case which immediately adds value to the whole accounting process. Um, how much time do I have? Uh, two minutes. Three. Three, okay. Well, let me fire up this one again. So, um, So one of the last use cases I will run you through, but not in the system. Um, we are we finished the POC with the Dutch uh, Inspectie Leefomgeving and Transport to secure the whole workflow and document exchange and assets exchange um, for the shipment of hazardous goods inside Holland and cross-border. So uh, we finished this uh, project and we are now with them going to scale up their project and bring it live in production. So basically here you have the various uh, stakeholders. Um, so the, the ministry issues a permit and based on that permit, uh, in this case AXO, can ship uh, 20 transports with a total of 100 ton of uh, hazardous goods. The smart contract governs uh, the permit and th the asset is the shipment. So the asset is um, through the blockchain exchanged from party to party. So, and that's what you see here uh, replicated. So how does it look like in the system? Uh, so here basically the, the, the permit is, is made. Here you can see he has a permit of 10 uh, with uh, 20,000 ton, uh, tons and one uh, and five with uh, 15,000 tons. Um, and then AXO uh, will make a shipment. Yeah, each permit is uh, uniquely identified. So normally in production, you will not see the keys. It's all handled by translation uh, table so that uh, a normal uh, civil servant doesn't have to be bothered by secure keys because that's not what you want. But this is only for the POC to prove that's all unique, different and uh, identified. So he, he makes um, uh, uh, the, the shipment, uh, notifies it in the blockchain, creates a bill of lading, uh, and ships it to uh, an off worker, a processor. Um, everything is notified in the blockchain and you can see that the quantities and the amounts are uh, processed through the blockchain and everyone knows what the status 
of uh, the, the uh, permit is and everything that's there. So then it's collected by the driver and you see what happens uh, accordingly. So basically, this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, what we are going to do now is add uh, a front-end app to it so that the driver from his iPhone can do whatever you want. We are going to involve the German comp, uh, government and uh, the Belgium government. And we are now uh, preparing for production. And th that is an extensive task where you run in uh, various troubles because we have PKI government, they don't have it in Germany, uh, they don't have it in Belgium, so there are things to sort out in order to harden this application and to make it suitable for production cross-border. Thank you, questions? Thank you, Ronnie. Uh, thank you, welcome. Okay, just one question, save the rest for uh, the panel. You have one question? Hi, I'm uh, wondering, you're building on top of BigchainDB. Correct. Um, so where is your consensus model or which consensus model do you use inside um, your own or do you entrust on the consensus within BigchainDB? Yeah, we, we, we use the majority voting uh, protocol from BigchainDB, correct. 